Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Valentine's Day card using minimal supplies. The design is very easy and it's a great project if you're just starting out. So I'm going to walk you through some of the supplies you're going to be using. I have a really inexpensive watercolor set from Crayola. I'm going to be using that brush that's in there as well. I've got a paper towel that I might need while I'm painting. I've got an eraser, a pencil, and a marker. This is a gray marker, but you could definitely use a black pen or anything else you have on hand. You're going to need some scissors. And I also have a piece of paper here. This is just some scratch paper. It can be whatever color you want. You won't actually show that paper on your project. Mine's just pink so you can see it on camera. You'll also need some paper. I recommend using watercolor paper because you'll get a better result. And if you want a recommendation on an inexpensive watercolor paper to buy, I'll have a link down below in the video description under the supplies. I've folded my card base here. You can make your card whatever size you'd like. This one is a finished size of four and a quarter by five and a half. It is exactly one quarter of a piece of letter sized car uh, cardstock. So I'm going to take my scratch paper here and I'm going to fold it in half twice. And this is going to give me the exact size of my card. I'm going to be using this paper to create a template for a heart. So I'm going to take my scissors and cut out one of these squares or rectangles. And this is going to give me the perfect size for my card. Now this template that we're making, you can use either the positive or the negative of the heart, whatever you'd like to use. So I'm going to fold this in half. Uh, in school, we used to call this hot dog style lengthwise. And then from the fold, I'm going to use my pencil and draw half of a heart shape. This is the easiest way to get a perfectly symmetrical heart. If you want to skip this step and just sketch a heart directly onto your card, you definitely can. But I wanted to make sure that my heart was perfectly shaped. I'm using my scissors to trim out this heart. And like I said before, you could use the positive of the heart or the negative. So the actual heart itself or the area that's around the heart that's left behind. So the reason why I made it the exact size of the card was in case you wanted to use this piece right here, you could place that right over the top of your card. Or you can use the heart itself, which is what I decided to do so that I could actually have that heart just move down just a little bit more toward the center of the card. I'm gonna hold this paper heart down onto my card front while I take a pencil and trace around the outside edge. I'm tracing mine with a pretty dark line, dark enough that you can see on camera, but when you're making this in person, I recommend using a very, very light hand because when you start painting, any pencil that is trapped underneath the watercolor cannot be erased. So if you wanna make sure you don't see any pencil marks, you'll wanna make sure that your pencil line is very, very faint. Tracing around this corner here that I missed, just lining up that heart once more, and then I'll trace around with my pencil. So now I'm going to use, um, I'm gonna introduce some additional supplies that are optional. You don't have to have these supplies on hand, but I'm taping my card down to a hard surface. You don't have to do this. You could definitely just paint your card. But the reason I'm doing this is I want it to be completely flat as it dries. And if you don't tape your project down to your, uh, to your work surface or something hard that'll keep it in place, you run the risk of the paper warping while it's drying. So in order to just minimize that risk, I'm going ahead and taping it down. But you definitely don't have to do that. Got my watercolor paint set here and I've added some water into the purple and red wells of color. And then I'm moving some of that paint off to the side in my palette. This is just going to make it super easy to pick up color and make sure I have enough wet color to work with. Taking a clean brush, this is the brush that came in my watercolor set, and I'm adding just water down to the outside area of the heart. And this is going to give me a great opportunity to drop in color and see that color start moving around in the puddles of water. So I'm gonna pick up some of that red paint and bring it over to my project and put it right up against the edge of that heart. And you can see that that paint just wicks away and starts playing in all of that water. Now, I've had a few questions in my videos recently from new viewers who are wondering, how do you keep the paint from going everywhere? How do you make sure it doesn't go where you don't want it? 
watercolor paint will only travel within water. So if you don't want the paint to go into the center of the heart, don't introduce any water to the center of the heart. So you know, you'll notice when I started painting, I painted around the heart, keeping the heart itself dry. Because I've kept the heart dry, the paint that I'm introducing will not uh, shoot into that area. It will only travel within the puddles of water. Now, this there is a little exception to this. If you're working on a tilted work surface or somewhere that's not flat, the water will start to run and then you have paint going everywhere. You can also do that on purpose if you want. You can tip your board or if you have it taped down to a book or a clipboard, you can tilt it and kind of coax the paint to go in different directions. For this particular card, I don't want any of that paint to travel into the center of the heart. So I made sure to keep my work surface flat and only have water in areas where I want there to be paint. I let that dry just in the air for as long as it needed. And then I used my eraser to erase any of those pencil lines that I could. I'm now taking my paper template and I'm just using the edge of it to draw on some lines. This is where I'm going to be putting the greeting on my card. And I want the word Valentine's to be right in the center. So I'm counting how many letters there are in the word. Turns out that there's 10. So I'm going to count over five letters and then draw an arrow and that marks the center of the word. So when I pencil on the word Valentine's, I'm actually going to start in the center and work out from there. This is going to help me make sure that this word is completely centered on the card. I do this a lot when I'm working on calligraphy pieces or even addressing envelopes. When I want to make sure that a word or a name or anything is completely centered, I'll draw out the word or uh, write the word on a piece of paper, figure out where the center is, and then work from there. As far as the words above and below Valentine's, I'm just using a very simple script uh, kind of style for handwriting. Um, you can definitely use whatever you'd like. I think it would look really fun if you did this all in caps as well. But I did like the idea of having two different styles of writing, one that's more scripted and a little bit more stylized, and then the very thin uh, all caps of Valentine's. I'm using my gray marker and going over the words. And when I have this all written out, I'm gonna go ahead and use my eraser and erase any of those pencil lines that are peeking out from underneath my marker. This is going to make it look completely finished and flawless. This is basically the design for today's card. This card comes together super quickly and easy and it uses very minimal supplies. Hope you guys enjoyed this card design. I have plenty more on my channel you can check out. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you guys in another video very, very soon. 